And just when you thought we're done with the HP uh, Pavilion desktop, here comes another one. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Hardware Sense. And this is the long promised uh, modification video for intake fan on that HP Pavilion gaming desktop, the Walmart special. You guys have seen plenty of uh, videos on my channel about this computer. Uh, I would did upgrade on graphics cards, multiples, we did upgrade on the cooling solution for the CPU, uh, we did some um, memory upgrades, some other things, but now finally I want to modify where we can add some intake fan and possibly bring down the temperatures uh, some more degrees. Now, have you guys seen to my previous videos uh, what the temperatures are and where you can expect when you have that upgraded solution with the Big Shuriken 3 and with that RTX uh, 2060 that I have on it at the moment. And uh, they're, they're great actually, but you know, can we bring some more down? In my mind, yes, we can. In this situation, I wanna install uh, another 92 millimeter intake fan and see what the results are gonna be. Now, this is not gonna be a very easy install. It's not gonna be your regular, just bolt it in and you're good to go or install it. It will take a little bit more effort. It will take a little bit more work with a Dremel tool uh, to cut that. And this section in the bottom where normally the hard drive is gonna go, this is where I'm gonna cut to mount that fan. Uh, now, keep in mind, uh, if you're planning to use a hard drive and mounting down there, you're not going to be able to do that modification. But in my particular case, I'm not using that space and I feel like it's a waste and it's a perfect location for intake fan because it's right next to that external perforations on the side of the computer, on that side panel where the intake, the, the passive intake is at the moment. Uh, now this uh, specific location fits perfectly 92 millimeter fan unfortunately we cannot mount anything bigger ideally it would have been great to have 12 millimeter but we can't uh, so 80 millimeter or 92 ideally will be their only choice now uh, you can see uh, i've already cut unfortunately i didn't film the whole process of cutting but there's a tons of tutorials if you want to cut with dremel i didn't want to bore you guys with this uh, particular section all you need to do is just take that uh, uh, plate out it's held by four screws only uh, put some masking tape or some uh, painters tape uh, around it just tape it off so you won't get scratched uh, get a 92 millimeter fan uh, kind of match the exact location where you're going to put it luckily for us there's a one hole that it's uh, already in the perfect spot in the corner uh, for mounting the hard drive, but we're going to use that same hole for a benchmark to kind of put this first hole for the fan and From there we can kind of use a pencil right on top of the masking tape where we're going to cut uh, I got lazy and I did only three holes and I think that's plenty You don't really need the fourth one, but if you need to or you want to you can do it uh, and instead of screws I use these uh, rubber uh, spacer slash isolators that I bought on a big pack from Amazon. They're like five or six bucks for a hundred. Perfect for mounting fans to isolate the vibrations a little bit more, bring the noise down. They work out perfectly for this specific situation. And I put three of them after I cut that hole. I put some of uh, a rubber U-channel around the cut. Uh, again, this uh, rubber U-channel is very a uh, common thing amongst people that are modding back in the day especially when there was not a lot of cases with side windows uh, and uh, one place and one person that i always like to buy from that's uh, bill from mmpc tech uh, obviously i always order my u channel from there whenever i do modifications so i got this from there you can see the link down below the video a very little piece i use just around these rough uh, edges of the cut you know obviously if you use a uh, any kind of Dremel tool and then even if you file it down and it's going to be smooth it's going to look a lot better and cleaner if you just apply that uh, u-channel around the cut and then install the fan it looks nice and clean super clean and super perfect uh, in my personal opinion it looks very nice uh, you guys tell me what you think but I think it looks great um, almost like uh, it was factory made um, and again your performance 
will depend on what kind of fan you're getting. Now, in my particular case, I'm using this NZXT fan, which is from one of those Kraken kits, upgrade kits for water cooling for video cards, which I was not using. Uh, and I think this fan runs between 1100 and 1200 RPMs, which is a good choice if you wanna uh, achieve silence and somewhat good performance. Now, of course, if you wanna bump it up and grab a fan that it's uh, 1500, 1600 or even higher RPM, you can probably expect a little bit better performance, but at the same time, you're gonna have to sacrifice the noise, which uh, ideally, in my case, I wanted to keep as much as uh, possible lower uh, and be quiet, you know, the whole configuration to be as quiet as possible. Now, with this specific fan, uh, so sound is perfect, at least for me. Uh, and one last thing that you need to grab is this uh, SATA to a four pin, um, extension cable as you can see the one i grabbed is from amazon again links are below uh, and it's for two fans i'm sure they probably have for only single one fan but i've bought this one before uh, for another projects i actually bought several because i like them so much so i had this one left over for two fans um, and plugged in the fan plug into the extra sata cable that was already uh, empty on that same uh, power supply Remember, you have one for your uh, extra SSD if you want to install and one uh, is extra. So you can definitely use it for this specific case uh, without any problems. Uh, plug it in, tuck the cable around and behind the fan in that, that plate and you're good to go. It looks nice and clean. There's not enough clearance between, between the actual fan, power supply and video card. Uh, and at the same time, there's enough clearance between the fan and the outside uh, case. Uh, that side panel of the case about <clears throat> maybe half an inch. So there's another, you know, good kind of clearance for the fan to breathe, to bring enough uh, air from the outside at the same time disperse it inside the case. Uh, in my opinion, uh, very good location and almost kind of fits perfectly in this specific situation. Now looking at the results, uh, let's go in and summarize. <laughs> Obviously you guys can see, I will put it uh, side by side uh, one after another. And you've seen the previous videos what temperatures you can expect but with uh, 22 degrees celsius ambient this is a the, these are the different uh, the differences between uh, no side fan intake and side fan intake uh, four degrees celsius this is what i'm looking at um, so definitely it's worth it in my mind for you know 30 minutes uh, to about an hour depends how much uh, how fast you're working uh, modification Four degrees lower yeah absolutely i'll take that uh, of course lower temperatures reflect to uh, better and higher clocks on the video card as always they're so uh, affected by higher temperatures overall lower temperature inside the case which helps with everything else cpu uh, other components memory uh, nvme nvme drive as well so again four degrees yeah absolutely i'll take it it looks nice from the outside you can't even tell unless you're really looking at that uh, fan through the grill of the side panel and uh, silence is there performance in my mind with four degrees celsius lower temperatures um, it's definitely working now if, if it's worth it for you that's an entirely different story you have to make that judgment and of course like i mentioned if you have a higher rpm fan or a better fan that it's uh, providing, um, you know, higher uh, kind of a push through. You can probably find another one, two to three, maybe uh, Celsius down, maybe even more. I don't know, depends on what kind of fan you're having, but uh, yeah, absolutely. If you can shave another couple of degrees, uh, that will be better for the computer and for yourself uh, as well. You're gonna get better frames. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, summarizing guys. As you saw, easy, at least for me, uh, modification, a little bit of work with the Dremel tool, a little bit of a, you know, here and there, uh, things that you have to kind of buy and implement in this specific modification. Uh, but the U channel is six, $7, the extension cable uh, for the SATA to uh, power uh, for the fans is about five, $6. And uh, if you buy another fan, Maybe they'll cost you 10, $15. So let's say for 20, $25, I say 
that's a that's worth it man 20 25 dollars uh, upgrade a little bit of work um and you're good to go oh the spacers the rubber spacers you don't have to buy a hundred pack it's five six dollars but you know you can get smaller packs it's cheaper so let's say 25 dollars uh as the whole uh, va value of this project uh and a little bit of patience it looks great and brings the temperatures down you know four degrees it's good to me if you put a better fan probably even gonna be more that's pretty much it guys next video will be on a totally different pre-built uh, gaming computer like i mentioned that's going to be from lenovo tons of modifications there as well we're going to run a lot of tests see what we kind of kind of results we can get there we're going to cover pretty much everything similar to what we did with this hp pavilion gaming desktop and uh, that's pretty much it guys ask me any questions anything related to this one or any uh, upgrades updates and modifications i'm here to respond and help you out if you're new subscribe to the channel there will be a lot more coming in very soon hit the thumbs up if you like the video as always guys you have a wonderful day